the golden moment. Is it? It's, it's there. It's about to be there. The golden trees. Where's the golden trees? <laughs> the golden trees. Look at that. Wow. You yeah, look at that. Oh, there's a bush in the way. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Still nothing. Yeah. Oh. Hyperia's there! Look at that! Ready, ready to go on this thing and take flight! So guys, high period is now open. We didn't even see the open ceremony because we were literally just waiting on another queue. But at least it's open, that's all that matters. But, oh, here we go. So what was that? How do you, how do you feel about to walk through it? Ecstatic. Ecstatic. Here we go, we're ready to find our oh, fearless. Let's go now, come on. Here we go, look at that. Having fun in the queue? No comment. No, we're not having fun in the queue. Absolutely fumbalastic. I like the hat. So guys, been on Hyperia with Nella of course, but she's on, she's gone to the toilet. So I want to, I'll do a video here right now. Hyperia was absolutely top class. Fort Park needed this ride so bad. And if any of you haven't been to Fort Park and been on Hyperia yet, definitely have your chance right now. Definitely top tier. I'll give you a proper review when I get back home. So stay tuned for that review. So back home now. <sighs> wow, Hyperia. Definitely a top class ride for sure. All my days. Definitely, definitely my favorite ride here at the, in the UK. Like by far my favorite one. All my days. But let's get into the review anyway. But we'll get into like these. So I'll show you the things I've got. But there are so many other things that obviously been handed out and all that. Um, but I will definitely show you guys a lot more in detail. But let's get into the, let's get into the review first. And um, the queue line, obviously, we know the queue line was extremely long. It took a while. That's the thing you can have to expect for an opening day for a new roller coaster and the tallest and fastest roller coaster and weightless roller coaster in the UK. Of course, people want to ride it. If, if, until someone hears something that's really really good coming, of course they're going to be queuing for so long just to ride it. Of course, I would be part of that, but. Oh my days, until we reach into the whole area of, you know, Fearless Valley, it looks 
absolutely incredible. I love the wings on, on the floor. I absolutely love it. I know I didn't really record like my reaction, like my whole review of the whole area because how busy it was, I couldn't really get my camera around everywhere. I mean, I was going to do also um, ask other YouTubers as well, what do you guys think of Hyperia? Um, and ask them like, if this is their favorite ride in the UK or would it, or would it just not top, or just, just not top of anything else, but it's up to their opinion at the end of the day. But unfortunately, again, like I said, it was absolutely busy. It was jam packed. Um, I could, we couldn't have enough time just to, you know, go over to them and ask them. So if you want to be in the video, just talk about how, if you like about Hyperia. But unfortunately, it was just too busy. We could not be able to ask them at all. So that's why the video's got a bit cut off short a little bit because um, due to lo um, long queuing uh, and lots of people around, so I couldn't film as much. And, and I bought some merchandise as well, as you guys can see over here. I'll give it a proper review later. Um, and then just going on the ride was absolutely a blast. It, I, I absolutely enjoyed it. The ride is incredible. My favorite ride in the UK, 100%. Like, all my days. I never thought I'd ever find my favorite ride in the UK. I never thought I'd ever find one. And Hyperia is definitely one of them. 100%. If any of you haven't ridden Hyperia yet, go down there right now and ride this thing. It's absolutely incredible. The most weightless, fastest roller coaster you could ever ride on. And all my days, when I was going up that lift hill, I was like, are we up the lift hill yet? No, we're not. We're still literally halfway there. And I'm like, God damn. <laughs> you can see the entire Fort Park around the area, which I absolutely love because like, it's such a good picture from up there. That would be a cool skyline um, photo from up there. That would be the most sick skyline photo I've ever seen. Like, on my days. But, wow. When I walked in, I was actually... I'm not joking. I was tearing up, like... Not crazy. I was, like, a little bit, though. Because it's just... How much things have changed since from Old Town to now Fearless Valley. It's... It is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So that's why I'm going to make this montage of all the updates I have done through and through and out from like between last year to this year uh, and also maybe if I have some clips between what it was before I may I might get some of those uh, but yeah 100% well, I'll do some of that but anyway let's review the merchandise right now so as we can as you can see we've got the high pair background so technically I'm going to be reviewing the stuff I have while the high pair background on this beautiful screen so the first thing I want to show you guys is this wonderful pin badge that I've got. So there you go. This is the, the pin badge. Oh, come on. There you go. So this is the one of the um, Icon Wings pin badges. You can also get it in blue, pink, and black. The black one looks kind of shiny, which I really like. But oh, yeah, they're, they're the pins that just came out because I literally just took it out of the um, uh, cardboard um, stand that I have that I've just put up with the rest of the pin badges. But... Yeah, this is what I currently have at the moment. But I was still trying to find, you know, the mystery pin badge. If any of you have the mystery pin badge and you have spares, please do sure because I would definitely would love to have one of those part of the, the, the part of the collection. And I'll definitely give one of give them, give you guys a shout out if you have that as well. But yeah, look at this beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful. And yeah, it's just incredible. And like when I literally saw it, I was like, yes, I want this so bad. Because it just looks nice to be part of the um collection. But I'll definitely collect some other ones as well, just just for the hell of it anyway. But anyway, that that is the pin badge from Hyperia. Of course, we've got another one. This wonderful hat over here. This is, it's quite a quite a popular hat, actually, if you think about it. It is quite a popular hat um, because it's obviously embroidered as well. And on the back, it says, find your fearless. So you can see it's definitely embroidered. And if any of you were wondering about sizes, it is all Velcro. So you can adjust it however you like it. So there's no sizes or anything. You can just adjust it however you like it. And yeah, it's all good. Oh, my dog's barking. Lovely. <laughs> but the also good thing about this hat is it's of this gold out band over here. And it's got some like nice little gold bits around. So it's not just plain. So I like it. So it's got a bit of gold and black to it. It is really, really nice. Like, wow. Definitely well designed. And it's definitely worth its money because like if, if it wasn't embroidered or anything like that, it would have obviously would not be worth as money but it's this is just beautiful like, i like these little bits over here as well it's just wow but then of course 
the, re the uh, refillable cups of Hyperia. Here you go, look, it says find your f your flavors. So yeah, there you go, find your flavors. So you can go and find your flavors in one of, you know, um, one of the Coca-Cola Star machines as well. So you can go and buy this in one of the machines near of Hyperia. There's a, a vending machine that costs 15 quid altogether, but I don't know how to actually get my discount from it, from, um, you know, from the vending machine itself. Normally it's easier to get these if from a discount if you got it from the desk, but I didn't, I literally just found out uh, they had it on the desk near obviously the store in the dome. I just found out with that one. So yeah, I could have gotten it from there, but I got it from the vending machine instead. But if you want to get a discount, I recommend going to the, the one in the dome anyway. So, because I was going to go to the mega store, but it looked, it looked like it was closed. So yeah, quite a shame. So we went all the way down to the store inside the dome but yeah look at the design on this you've got the coaster in the bottom of it then the, the iconic layout and you've got one wings over here that are playing so you got you can see where you have your drink inside so that is quite a nice touch to it and of course you've got hyperia find your flavors which i absolutely love it then you've got obviously yeah, the words on the side but i love this as well the gold top it's just it is absolutely incredible like look at this Definitely a good thing to add to your collection as well of Hyperia and theme park merchandise. So, wow, Hyperia all the way. But then, then of course, after you've ridden Hyperia, obviously if you were there on the opening day, you get these. It's a little bit, a little bit bent in the minute because I literally had trying to put it in my bag because I didn't want to carry it around so much. And these are the holes from like this. So I literally, it literally just goes in here. So you go, it literally it just goes in there. So I thought that was kind of perfect for it. So it just hangs it up for me. So there you go. So it's officially fearless. And it says one one of the first to ride Hyperia, 24th of May 2024. And obviously these are signed as well. From John Burden himself. And of course, over here as well. But in the full part logo. I absolutely love this. It's so it, it's just nice that you, I think they actually give these out. To the people who first ridden high period obviously that you get one for club club 236 as well but it's in white because yeah if you're part of the club 236 you get this in, in the white form but if you're not if you just ride it as in like a normal guest for the first time you get one of these but now when you ride hyperia when it opens again um which i'm going to explain a little bit later on in today's video so yeah if you do if you go and ride it um after open day you would not receive any of these so just to clarify that to anyone else because it says one of the first to ride Hyperia so you only get these when you first ride Hyperia not like on getting not on the you have to get this on the opening day because it has a date in the bottom so you can only get this on the opening day of Hyperia so unfortunately if anyone else hasn't gone to the opening day you won't get any of these when you go on Hyperia next so so yeah, it's quite a good thing to add to your collection. But there's nothing at the back, just, a, <laughs> just to clarify that one. But very, very nice indeed. And of course, I don't know how I'm gonna fit this on camera, but I've got this beautiful sign here. Uh, it's definitely one of the cutout signs. You can actually use this as like a stencil. So like if you want to spray paint it or anything like that, you can use this as a proper stencil. It is pretty nice, it's good going. But I'm not using it as a stencil. I'm gonna put it up somewhere and you could possibly see it in any of all of my videos. So I'm doing it like this so you guys can see all of it. You know, can I do it like that? It looks kind of good with this in the background. I have to admit, actually, look, look at this. It looks pretty nice in the background with that. Look at that. Oh, can I let me extend it? There you go, look. There you, go. you guys can see in the background. So this is what I've, I have got from the store. Uh, I believe it's 12 quid, I believe so. I don't really remember, but it's definitely really nice it's very well designed obviously you get these sort of designed um uh, logos of like you know stealth uh i don't know about anything else but i believe there are more out there but i wanted to get the hyperia one because i thought it'd be quite huge uh but this isn't it's actually it's a pretty decent size it is pretty decent so if you compare it to my screen it goes on from like down over here but yeah it's pretty decent size if you ask me so yeah absolutely love it and the obviously it's a metal as well so and i like it it's just all black because it just makes it look really really nice but i'm gonna hang it up somewhere so you'll all be able to see this in my videos so let's sit here talking about hyperia now uh so as i've always the um as you all may have already heard that uh full park has announced something 
I'm just moving this out of the way for a second. Uh, Full Park have officially announced something uh, about Hyperia. Uh, and I thought I might as well mention it to you lot on video. At the moment, Hyperia is having some technical issues. Uh, so they're on trying to fix as much as they can. So Hyperia won't be open between the Sat Sunday 26th to um, and Wednesday 29th. Uh, and I think it just keeps going on the May 29th and then the high period should be open between half of that hopefully because there's some issues at the moment going near the top of the lift hill because as um, we've seen when I was there there were people on top of the lift hill working on something and there was something wrong with it and I feel like it's actually kind of a good idea to keep it shut for now in case something bad would happen so fair dues to Fort Park anyway just to keeping it shut so yeah it is it's fine, I guess, but even though it's sad that other people couldn't even go and ride Hyperia uh, where the day is all going. So that's why they handed out um, free tickets to everyone else on the, on the screen. So when they go onto the clip, um, go onto the QR code, scan that, you get yourself a free ticket the next day. But yeah, it's just what it is. If other people who just gone to Fort Park to go and ride Hyperia, unfortunately, they couldn't do it, which was just so sad. But we're not, but it's for safety reasons anyway. So. It's, it's, it's such a good thing like they're doing it anyway so people can ride it in a like in a safe way so it's perfect for it in that sort of matter so yeah it's just sad anyway but anyway Hyperia was very very good I absolutely enjoyed it and hope you guys enjoyed today's video so it's quite a short one like I mentioned it was absolutely jam-packed I said hello to so many people and um and I and I was just so grateful to every single one of you who watches my updates for an hour it's just amazing so thank you all so much for watching all of all of my updates i didn't make it to 50 unfortunately i didn't make it to 50 but i managed to make it at least to 40 i did say i wanted to get over to at least 45 and i'd be happy and um, we did we did so yeah so very very good so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the post notification to get notified every time i'm building a video on the channel and uh, follow social media down, down below to get up to date with all things about stuff coming on to the channel as well. Um, but now the question is, what's next? What's next? We don't know. We never know what's going to be next now, don't we? So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy, guys. And peace. A fun and exciting offering to guests for years to come. Oh, here's Old Town. Rocket Express. Ah, the curly fry stand. Arch Nemesis's favourite place. <laughs> that is huge! Oh my god! God, that, that is gonna be flipping huge! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so here it is, normal for. Um, 5th of December. Yep. My this is a huge potential that I'm gonna be getting today. Madness. Absolute mad. Right. All those in favour of uh, Project Exodus going ahead, raise your hands. And every single member of the council in that building, raise their hands, Project Exodus. Come on! Approved by the council, ladies and gentlemen. No! Come on! Come on! Gotta get it over! Yes! Yes! The environmental agencies still have their objection in place. And oh. the Secretary of State. It is so good. So I mean, you, you forgot the lid! Ahead of us, you know, just building the UK's tallest roller coaster. But I'm here ahead of season to tell you everything you need to know about Project Exodus so far. Oh, 
Oh, and yes, she's a Mac. Yes. Come Welcome on. to Old Town, or we've been busy clearing the site for construction. Over the past few weeks, we've removed the Rocky Express and sent her for retirement. We've demolished Creek Freak Massacre. Please don't tell the Buckwheats. And prepared the site for the groundworks. Wow. So yeah, as I said, this is not going to be a quick one or two minute job like the Freak Freak Massacre and all the other people in there as well. This is going to take around a week for many people yeah. um, to fully come down. So if you... There's a bit that actually are taking, it's down over there. It's happening, we got here just on time. Right now, as you can see, it's literally taking a lot of it apart right now. moment as we speak it's, it's getting more interesting by every update we do on the channel it's behind the scenes you can see of the exodus poster of like it's obviously gold you can see the picture of the exodus poster in trailers it's colored gold a lot going on here and then we look over here what's that doing over there <laughs> moment as we speak but you can see there is stuff happening uh, and also like some other stuff happening over there so that is quite interesting but are you ready to experience the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster standing at 236 feet tall Reaching speeds over 80 miles per hour. Okay, I don't know how you feel. Right, oh, let us show you. I just want to look like with the current, with the whole entire track looks like. Oh my god! Good way good. Track for it, isn't it? Like never before. Look at the track! Look at that! Oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Never here again. That's the net! Oh my god!
This is it. Oh my.